Good afternoon, Quad City Times viewers and readers. My name is Tom Lowy. I'm a reporter at the paper, and I'm here with Johnny Marie Woods. Hi. Hi, how are you, Tom? Just fine, thank you. We are talking about Black History Month, and we're talking about primarily a book you've written. I'm going to kind of focus in on it here. We have come this far by faith. Yes. And then also your book of poetry and kind of a history of your life. Well, I grew up in, well, I didn't actually grow up in. I was eight when we moved to Illinois to Lincoln Homes in Rock Island. Um, we, I lived on a sharecrapper's farm in um, Homer, Louisiana, where I was born. And when we moved here, when I was eight, it's kind of a shocker because I went to an all-colored school, they called it back then, for two years. So it was a different world for me. Also, I lived out in the country, the rural Homer, Louisiana, so there wasn't a lot of people anyway. So it was a quite a new experience for me. So I think that was around the time I started to write. I used to write down on paper bags or in a, um, in books, poems and stuff. And the first poem I wrote was about my grandfather, his death, because he was kind of the reason we, we left home and came here because he had died and it was his farm. Okay. And so in the last year or so, you've put together, it's, it is a celebration of the history of African American churches in and around the Quad Cities. Yes, I have. So let's talk a little bit about what prompted you to do this. What you've done is compiled a lot of newspaper clippings and a lot of submitted histories from the yes, churches. From churches. Someone told me, well, it probably started too with a lady named Miss Eula Rhodes, R H O D E S. And I was looking through a book at, there's two things, that one, I was looking through a, a souvenir book at Olivet Church where I'm a member. And I saw this huge picture of this lady. And I took it to somebody, I said, this is the lady that used to drag us to Olivet Church. She was one of the founders of the church I found out. And she was, I was this little 10, eight, nine, 10 year old. She was, a lot of us little girls. And then the other thing in talking about church and history, someone told me about people at Third Baptist who, who um, organized that church and that they came here as right out of slavery and organized churches in their homes and that they had nothing and they pooled together their money at some point and built churches in our bottom. Yeah. And I just thought that was so interesting because today we have a lot more resources to do anything that we want to do. And these people had few resources coming right out of slavery and they could do something like that. And it made me think I ought to be able to do anything if they can, you know, if they could do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So I started actually wanting to, I had celebrated histories of some African Americans in the area at my church is doing, uh, my church doing Black History Month a couple of years in a row. And I said, I wanna celebrate the people back then who organized these churches with nothing. It's important that we remember them. And that's why I started writing it because I want someone 100 years from now, 200 years from now, if the book is laying around to say, oh my, that is really interesting. Those people had nothing, and they created churches. They organized themselves, met in homes, saved their money. Can you imagine how much they made back then? 50 cents a day, maybe. Right. And they saved their money and organized and, and bought church homes, you know. So that's kind of, it's interesting to me. And it is very interesting. Your book, A Safe Place, is available through Amazon? Amazon. And... We have come this far by faith will also be available. Will be available through Amazon. Amazon. All right.